These days, dating sims come in all different kinds of forms. Narratively speaking, for the most part, that is. Some of them have been fairly groundbreaking when it comes to subverting the genre, like Dream Daddy. Others, well, they can take players on unexpected romantic adventures, like one where you date pigeons. Yep, pigeon as in the bird. Enter Hatoful Boyfriend, the pigeon dating sim, where you get your pick at the cream of the flock. So today, we're counting down the top 10 reasons why you should play Hatoful Boyfriend. Get ready to find some birdie to love. Number 10, the world. The underlying world the game exists within is actually pretty dark, and perhaps not what you'd expect from a game that's marketed as a pigeon dating simulator. The game is set on a version of Earth inhabited by sapient birds after a mutated strain of the bird flu causes a pandemic that nearly wipes out all humans by 2068. In the hidden alternate story mode that we'll be talking about a little bit later on, it's revealed that due to this virus, the birds gained human levels of intelligence. And there was a war in which the birds came out on top as the dominant species. Yeah, yikes. You were the only human attending a high school called St. Pigeo Nations Institute. And due to segregation, since you're a human, you live in a cave. And your parents are dead. Moving on to something a little brighter at number 9, its origins. Not all aspects of Hatoful Boyfriend are as dark as its setting may make it seem to be. It's actually a really lighthearted game, filled with a lot of humor. While we'll touch a bit more on that later, it's worth noting that the game itself started as a joke. It originated as an April Fool's gag for first time developer, manga and writer Hato Mao. She wanted to create a parody of Atome Games, a genre targeted towards Towards women in which you play a woman whose goal is to develop a romantic relationship with one of many characters encountered within the game. Mao had a fondness for pigeons too, and that's how the dating sim was born. In number 8, replay value. While a pass through the game may be fairly short, each storyline ends up being around 20 to 30 minutes, the game provides multiple opportunities to mix up the story, and you can pursue more than one bird at once, making the outcome you get always a little bit more surprising. Beyond that, it doesn't stray too much from the traditional archetypes found in dating sims. You've got the best friend, the popular guy, the shy one, the charming bully, etc. Except this time around, they're pigeons, and the character traits they embody are only amplified by the amalgamation of bird behavior, which definitely makes for a good chuckle throughout. Up next, number seven, Bad Boys Love. Getting back into dark territory here, Bad Boys Love was a good old horror scenario that's included in the game. Because who doesn't love the option of shit getting really creepy and weird when it comes to a dating sim? Looking at all you who are in search of the dream daddy religious cult ending over here. Anyway, Bad Boys Love is a hidden alternate story mode, which starts with a horrific dream of your parents' deaths, and then moves on with the discovery of the game's protagonist's corpse. You then follow your best pigeon friend around as he investigates your murder. The autopsy shows you were poisoned and then dismembered, ultimately unraveling a darker truth about your school and revealing a sinister plot. Also, he finds your head in a box and that's just, you know, yeah. In at number 6, the references. A Tofu boyfriend is filled with illusions and references that astute players may pick up on. The world of the game shares many similarities to Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, the strain of bird flu virus was heavily inspired by the 1918 flu pandemic, and the codename given to the human countermeasure against the H5N1 virus? It's called Operation Carnandez, named after the Greek philosopher of the same name and one of his experiments, aptly named the Plank of Carnandez. And at number 5, not just pigeons. Don't like pigeons? And you're totally caught up on the fact that you don't like pigeons? Well, they're not the only bird that you can woo in this game. So why do you hate pigeons so much? Characters include a rock dove, a morning dove, a partridge, and a budding quail. In fact, the Japanese word hat means both pigeon and dove. But I guess calling it a dove dating simulator just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Up next, number four, the puns. If you like a healthy mix of comedy dropped into your games, or you're basically a dad and have an appreciation for the finer side of humor known as dad jokes, well, the writing in Hatoful Boyfriend may be right up your alley. There's a lot of bird puns. They say no birdie and some birdie and every birdie, like often. And the bird's behavior at times is pretty enjoyable while you're getting to know these characters and getting your romantic schmooze on. The game never lets you forget that you're actually, in fact, trying to woo a bird. And there's something gloriously funny about that, isn't there? In at number three, it has depth. All the humor and absurdity aside, writer Hato Mao's approach towards the game was to, I quote, write something that seems ridiculous and crazy at first glance, but that once you look into the world, you fall into the depth. And at times, the game manages to do that, depending on the story arc you pursue. But she has noted that it got a little out of hand with the bad boy's love scenario, which, as we mentioned, does dive into some more well, horrific territory. Up next, number two, the romances. The romance 
finances in the game are diverse, and include the likes of getting involved with your best friend, your teacher, another student who's an eccentric track and field star, and even the school doctor. Yeah. The storylines for each are unique, ranging from one that involves an RPG inspired storyline where you get dragged into a turn based boss fight, and another that leads you to find the one true pudding. Creative, isn't it? And finally, in a number one, the reviews. So, what do critics think of Hatofo Boyfriend? Well, the game, which was made on a minuscule budget and gained its popularity primarily due to social media, has received generally favorable reviews. Most critics praised its storytelling and witty dialogue, calling it surprisingly serious and emotionally involved. With Carly Smith from The Escapist recommending players to, I quote, start the game for a laugh, but stick with it for a ride you wouldn't have expected by looking at the cover. The game has also been called a fierce deconstruction as well as a tender celebration of dating sims on RPG fans. Not too shabby for a little surreal game. Game where you try to get your romance on with pigeons. All right, there we have it, friends. Let the bestiality jokes roll in. Keep it clean down there in the comments. Have you guys played Hatoful Boyfriend? It was available for free via PlayStation Plus a little while back, but still worth checking out regardless. Let us know your thoughts on it in those comments below. And while you're at it, let us know what your favorite dating sim is, and if you want us to do more videos like this. If you want more gaming vids, why not check out our playlist of the most recent uploads and head on over to our channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.